Alright, go go. Open the door. Chill up when you send up in the suit. Me no can go on. Chill up fifty cents. Mama, ni mandi. I do it. You go. What a fifty cents shit. Let's go in fifty cents. I no go to go ni mandi. Yeah, All right. right. Sorry, get All, All right. right. Open. Enough class. Oh. All right. Ah, fifty cents. The gun. I'm winner. I didn't know. I found out who you are. Who got a good guy? But now, when the police are the water, the water, the water, the the water, the water, the water, the water, the water, the water, In Harare, things are not working out for Grace either. If things don't change, I see my daughters in shambles. I don't think they will have a better life. They will keep on struggling. Excluded from school, Grace has no choice but to return to the rubbish dumps to search for bones and attempt to earn her way back into school. And they did it. Did it. Yeah, you know, the bones are. At Orbit School, the headmaster has given his accountant a list of all those children who have still not paid their fees. The school is owned by the government, but sometimes it's failing to supply the needs of this school. We don't have money to buy stationery, you know what I mean? So if we let the students stay here, how can the teachers carry on their job? They have no chalks, no books. We have those things from the money they pay as a school fees. Uh, today I've come here to send back the kids to tell their parents to give them money for the school fees. Since the term started, some of the kids paid school fees, but three quarters of the kids haven't paid the school fees yet. It's not good, but that's how the situation is. There's nothing I can do. I have to send them back home, to go and tell their parents to give them money for the school fees. I'm going to Mira up up. That's not bad, right? Mira, mira up. Him, him, is not bad, right? Mira, and it. And it. Right, you, yeah. And it, and it, and it, and it, and it. And it. And it. School fees, it? Right. Right. Good. 
Savasi na kubata rava ya sumukai, tibude timire panzi. Gati sumukai tibude timire panzi. Ndaya muno mirira parefa apu, ipaya mkana wangu. Ande, msa mire, msa mire, msa mire, ande. Ande, eh, ansuda wona anu mirira pachikoro. Ande, ande, ande. Ande. Right. Bye bye, bye bye. Anumozwe Out of 1,015 children on the register, 889 have been sent home, almost 90% of the school. I'm not feeling uh, good about sending back the kids home because it pains me. Because these kids, when they go home, they have nothing to do. They start thinking of robbing people, going doing other activities like panning, which is illegal. So there's now no other any things they can do at home. So their future, ah, is not good. It does pain me when I see what's going on because it's. It's about the loss of opportunity. I had opportunities in this country. I had the ability to dream because I was in an environment which allowed me to dream. I grew up in a country which has given me all of this, what I've become today. So why shouldn't thousands of other children have the same that I have had? When you ask a child what do you want to be and they, they have no clue because all they are thinking about is either feeding the grandmother or having to look for two dollars, even though, you know, he has his dreams, but that child is so traumatized. Uh, when, when, yeah, when kids can't dream, then I think, you know, we can pretty much say goodbye to everything. Let's <laughs> <laughs> As a child of Zimbabwe, I despair for the future of the next generation. As an African, I am angered that so many of this continent's leaders continue to watch Zimbabwe's decline without question. And as a citizen of the world, I hope that one day soon, when the current leadership releases its grip on this country, the rest of the world will be there to catch Zimbabwe's children as they fall.